So um, before I begin my monologue, I want to start by saying how thankful I am to be back in this theater. Um, most of the acting training I've received was on this stage, and I'm extremely proud to be back. Um, this is where I learned that theater is my home and uh, that it's my heart's mission. So the monologue I'm performing today is especially meaningful to me because I just used it in my college auditions and also because my drama coach said the character reminded her of me. This play is called The White Rose. It's about a resistance group in Nazi Germany. And in the show, five young students at the University of Munich have been caught pamphleting for peace, which is a crime punishable by death. So I play the only female character, Sophie. Uh, Sophie is intense and strong, and her faith in her cause is unshakable. In this scene, Sophie is talking to a police officer who has offered her her life in exchange for abandoning the cause for peace. Sophie promptly refuses, and her monologue about her allegiance to her cause is one of her last moments before being executed. Yeah. So one of my favorite things about Sophie is that even though she's up against her own mortality, she is rooted not in anger but in love. And I aspire to both her tenderness and her conviction. Thank you. Oh, there are very few beasts. The real damage is done by those millions who want to survive. Those honest men who just want to be left in peace, who don't want their little lives disturbed by anything bigger than themselves. Those with no sides and no causes. Those who won't take the measure of their own strength for fear of antagonizing their own shadow. Those who don't like to make waves or enemies. Those for whom passion, truth, freedom, honor, principles, are only literature. Those for whom everything is relative, the excuse of the man with no values. Those who have no absolutes because their souls can't encompass them. Those who live small, made small, and die small. The reductionist approach to life. If you keep it small, you'll keep it under control. If you don't make any noise, the boogeyman won't find you. And it's an illusion because they die too. Those people that rolled up their spirits into tiny little balls that hide them under their puny lives to be safe? Safe. From what? Life is always on the edge of death. Narrow streets lead to the same place as the big, wide avenues. And the little candles earn themselves out just like the flaming torch. I choose my own way to burn. Thank you. <laughs> 